In this video we will talk about fourth topic of PSM that is vaccines, immunization and cold chain 1, herd immunity. Herd immunity is level of resistance of community or a group of people to a particular disease. Herd immunity provides immunological barrier for spread of disease in human herd. Factors contributing to herd immunity are, immunization of herd, subclinical or clinical infections and herd structure, as herd is never constant, subject to constant change. Evaluation of herd immunity may be done by serological surveys. Public health importance, 1, provides immunological barrier to spread of disease, 2, occurrence of epidemic is unlikely, 3, helpful in eliminating a disease if sustained level of immunity maintained. 2, vaccine. Vaccine is an immunological substance designed to produce specific protection against a given disease. Vaccines currently in use. A. Live attenuated vaccine are BCG, yellow fever, polio, measles, mumps, rubella and rotavirus. B. Killed or inactivated vaccine are pertussis, influenza, polio, IPV, rabies and ja. C. Toxoid vaccine are tetanus, diphtheria. D. Polysaccharide vaccine are pneumococcal, meningococcal and HIV. E. Glycoconjugate vaccine is HIV. F. Recombinant vaccines are HBV, HPV. 3. BCG vaccine. BCG equals Bacillus calmet gera, live attenuated vaccine, strain, Danish 1331, derived from Mycobacterium bovis, lyophilized, freeze-dried, vaccine, reconstitution done with normal saline as a diluent, must be used within one hour of reconstitution. Dose should be 0.1 milliliters, root as intradermal, site should be over left deltoid, direct BCG can be administered up to one year without Mantu test, indirect BCG administered after one year of age with prior Mantu test. Phenomenon after vaccination are, papule formation, increased diameter of papule, papule breaks into shallow ulcer, seen covered with a crust, permanent tiny, round scar, 4 to 8 millimeters diameter, Mantu becomes positive. Protective efficacy are, 0% for pulmonary TB 0 to 80% for severe forms of TB 20 to 40% for leprosy, duration of protection for 20 years. Complications can be as follows, prolonged severe ulceration at the site of vaccination, suppurative lymphadenitis, osteomyelitis, disseminated BCGINF, death. 4. Measles vaccine. Live attenuated, lyophilized vaccine, most common strain is Edmonston Zagreb strain, dose should be 0.5 milliliters, root is subcutaneous, site is anterolateral aspect of thigh. Age of administration is 9 months, reconstituted with distilled water and should be used within 4 hours of reconstitution, contraindicated in pregnancy, cold chain temp required is 2 to 8 degrees, protective efficacy is 85% duration of protection required is lifelong. 5. IPV, salt type polio vaccine. Killed type of vaccine, first 3 doses 1 to 2 months interval each and fourth dose after 6 to 12 months after last dose, induces humoral immunity, no local immunity, IPV is unsuitable during epidemics as immunity is not rapidly achieved. Advantages are, safe in immunodeficiency disorders, safe in persons on radiotherapy and steroid therapy, safe during pregnancy, no risk of vaccine-associated paralytic poliomyelitis, VAPP. 6. OPV, Sabin-type polio vaccine. Live attenuated trivalent vaccine, induces both systemic as well as local immunity, dose should be 2 drops equals to 0.1 milliliters, can lead to vaccine-associated paralytic poliomyelitis, VAPP. Schedule required for OPV is as follows, OPV0, at birth OPV1, at 6 weeks OPV2, at 10 weeks OPV3, at 14 weeks OPV, booster, 16 to 24 months. Advantages of OPV are, easy to administer, induces both systemic as well as local immunity, single dose also produces substantial immunity, inexpensive, useful in controlling epidemics. 7. Switch. Replacing OPV with BOPV, concept is to eradicate all OPVs in long term so as to eliminate risks of vaccine-associated paralytic poliomyelitis. Strategy is to remove type 2 component of OPV, in order to remove OPVs it also includes introduction of at least one dose of IPV in routine immunization programs in all countries by end of 2015 National Switch Day is the 25th of April 2016. 8. DPT Vaccine. 
Combined triple vaccine for diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus, D and T or toxoids, P is killed a cellular bacilli, dose required is 0.5 milliliters. Root, intramuscular, site, anterolateral aspect of thigh, middle one-third road, aluminum phosphate or aluminum hydroxide is used as adjuvant as it increases immunogenicity. Recommend interval between three successive doses is one month, absolute contraindication is hypersensitivity to previous dose, cold chain temp should be between 2 to 8 degrees, discard the vaccine if it gets frozen accidentally. Schedule for DPT vaccine, DPT 1 6 weeks of age DPT 2 10 weeks of age DPT 3 14 weeks of age DPT booster 16 to 24 months DPT booster 5 years of age. 9. National Immunization Schedule NIS. BCG, birth to 2 weeks, OPV, birth, 6 weeks, 10 weeks, 14 weeks, 16 to 24 months, 5 years, DPT, 6 weeks, 10 weeks, 14 weeks, 16 to 24 months, 5 years, Hep B, birth, 6, 10, 14 weeks. HIB conjugate, 6, 10, 14 weeks, measles, 9 months, 16 to 24 months, MMR, 15 months. Typhoid, 2 years, 5 years, 8 years, 12 years, TT, 10 years and 16 years, TT, 2 doses 1 month apart in pregnancy and booster if previously immunized. Vaccines that can be given after discussion with parents are, varicella, HEPA, pneumococcal conjugate and influenza. 10. Chemoprophylaxis. It refers to protection from, or prevention of disease. Clinical prophylaxis refers to prevention of clinical symptoms. Causal prophylaxis means the complete prevention of INF by the early prevention of invading or migrating causal agent e.g. Mosquito sprays or bed nets. Indications of chemoprophylaxis are, cholera, tetracycline or furazolidone for household contacts, bacterial conjunctivitis, erythromycin ophthalmic ointment, diphtheria, erythromycin with first dose of vaccine, influenza, oseltamivir for contacts suffering from chronic diseases, plague, tetracycline for contacts of pneumonic plague. 11. Disinfection. Disinfection is thermal or chemical destruction of pathogen and other type of microorganisms, it is less lethal than sterilization as it does not destroy spores. 12. Sterilization. Sterilization is validated process used to render a product free of all forms of a viable microorganism including spores. 13. Properties of ideal disinfectant. 1. Broad spectrum 2. Fast acting 3. Not affected by environmental factors 4. Non-toxic 5. Surface compatibility. 6. Residual effect on treated surface 7. Easy to use 8. Odorless 9. Economical. 10. Soluble 11. Stable 12. Cleaner 13. Environment friendly. 14. Types of disinfection. Concurrent disinfection. Application of distinctive measure as soon as the contamination begins. Terminal disinfection, application of distinctive measure after removal of contaminating agent. Pre-current or prophylactic, disinfection of water, pasteurization of milk, hand washing. 15. What is quarantine? The limitation of freedom of movement of such well persons or domestic animals exposed to communicable disease for a period of time not longer than the longest usual incubation period of the disease, in such a manner so as to prevent effective contact with those not exposed. Types of quarantine, absolute quarantine, modified quarantine e.g. Exclusion of children from school, segregation e.g. Removal of susceptible children to homes of immune persons. 16. Adverse effects following immunization, AEFI. A medical incident that takes place after immunization, causes concern and is believed to be caused by immunization. Classification of AEFI. Vaccine reaction, event caused and precipitated by vaccine when given correctly due to its inherent properties, program error, event caused by error in vaccine preparation, handling, administration. Coincidental, a chance association, injection reaction, because of in itself, rather than vaccine, unknown, cause cannot be determined. Types of AEFI, minor vaccine reactions, rare vaccine reactions. Investigations of AEFI, report occurrence to surveillance system, confirm information in report, investigate and collect data about patient, event, vaccine and other people. 17. Cold chain. Cold chain is a system of transportation and storage of vaccines from point of manufacture to the point of administration. Key elements of cold chain, 1. Personnel 2. 
Equipment 3. Procedures. Cold chain temp of vaccines available in India, OPV, Sabin, 2 to 8 degrees, OPV for long-term storage, minus 20 to minus 40 degrees, yellow fever, minus 30 to 5 degrees, all other vaccines, 2 to 8 degrees, diluents, 2 to 8 degrees, Vita, outside cold storage, at room temp. Cold chain components and levels are. 1. State, regional level, walk in cold rooms, 2 to 8 degrees, and walk freezers, minus 20 to minus 40 degrees, which can be stored for 3 months. 2. District level, large ice lined refrigerators, 2 to 8 degrees, and large deep freezers, minus 20 to minus 40 degrees, which can be stored for 1 month. 3. PHC level, small ILRs, 2 to 8 degrees, and small DFs, minus 20 to minus 40 degrees, which can be stored for 1 month. 4. Sub-center level, vaccine and day carriers, 2 to 8 degrees, which can be stored for 48 to 72 hours. 5. Session level, fully frozen ice pack, 2 to 8 degrees, which can be stored for for 1 to 3 hours. Most imp component of cold chain in India, ILR, temp of cold chain in India, 2 to 8 degrees, instrument used to monitor temp of cold chain, dial thermometer. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more such informative videos. Also, like and share this video. Thank you for watching.